For practice at self-check 6.22 print entire file 2, we are asked to modify our code from a previous problem into a new method named print entire file 2 that will repeatedly prompt the user to type in files or file names um, until they enter one that exists on the system and then we are going to output that data. So this is referring to self-check problem 6.17 and 6.21 however we are just going to write all new code for this example instead of modifying it first thing that we're going to do is we need to make our method for now it's going to be public static void with the method name parameters and since we are opening and reading a file we need a throws file not found exception just in case our file does not exist inside of here we need to ask the user for the name of the file to do this we need a scanner we'll do scanner we'll call this scan set it to equal to new scanner and inside of our scanner we're gonna have system dot in that way we can get input next we are going to write our prompt Instead of here, we are just going to have this text, which it gives us right here. And then after this, we need a while loop that will continuously run until we get the correct file. And so what we're going to do before we make our while loop, we need to store the input from the user in a file. We'll have file f is equal to new file. That way we can get the file or read it in if it exists we'll do scan dot has or scan dot next line after we do this we take the next line and we store it in f we're going to see if f is actually a file so we're going to do while file dot can read and we have a not in here so it's really while file cannot read and what this is saying is as long as our file cannot be read so if the file does not exist or it cannot be read we are going to be in this while loop which will continuously prompt the user to enter a file name so we'll just have the same print line here and then we will store the response in a string so we need to initialize a string out here we can call this current and set this equal to just nothing right now we're just initializing it and then we'll set um, current equal to the input which will be scan dot next line so we get the line of input and we're using the scanner up here to do so and then we're going to store this into f so we have to do f is equal to new file and put current in here and this is going to keep running until eventually our input is a correct file which will be example.txt and once it's example.txt we are going to store that in current and then the prog problem asks us to read this file to read a file we need a scanner so we'll have scanner we'll call this read and we'll set this equal to a new scanner and here we'll have new file because it's reading a file and we'll have parentheses or actually no parentheses since it's being stored inside of a string and we just need to print out current because current stores this correct file after we do this we need a while loop and we're going to run it while read dot has next line and inside of here we'll have a system dot out dot print line where we will just print out read dot next line. It should be parentheses like this because it's a method. And if we submit this, we see that we have an error. One error that I can see is that I misspelled system dot print. This should be system dot out. So instead of an R, we'll have a T. If we submit this again, we still have issues. And another error I found was the system dot out dot print. This should be changed from an R to a T. So if we submit that, 
then it works. For some reason, it took me a while to figure out because it kept saying that there was a error with this part, but it was really that I just didn't spell the um, out in system outright. But this is the correct code. And what we're doing is we're initializing current. We have a scanner for system input. We prompt the user for um, input. Then we store that input in a file. And then we see if that file is existent on our machine. And if it's not, we're going to keep prompting the user for a new file. Once that file is accepted, it can be read. It's going to store that file in current, which we previously initialized up here. And then we are going to just read that file, which happens right here. So this is the passing for the test. And this code will give us the desired output.